What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. So in this video, we're going to go over the best render settings for a Vegas Pro 21. And before we're going to proceed, obviously, we're going to announce the winner of this Vegas Pro 21 giveaway that I ran a couple weeks ago. So this one lasted a couple weeks because I want to actually give enough people enough time to enter the giveaway and not close it down after a few days. Let's go ahead and draw the winner first. So in order to enter, you just had to leave a comment because a lot of those websites to run giveaways on, they're either paid or they actually had a lot of those options scraped because of YouTube's terms of service. So just leaving a comment actually made you an entry. So let's go grab a comment picker and let's do a randomizer so we can actually proceed on checking who won the giveaway. So right here we have the YouTube random comment picker. So I'm going to paste in the link of the giveaway video and let's click on fetch. We have the winner right here. It's a name that's quite hard to pronounce, to be honest, but I'm going to contact you through social media or reply to your comment on the video itself, just in order way to get in touch with you to arrange the shipping details because it is a physical copy. So I'm going to mail this one to you. So congrats to the winner. So let's move on to the actual render settings in Vegas Pro 21. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 21, like always. So the best render settings are actually pretty straightforward. Now, obviously, when you have been using Vegas Pro in the past, you know that anytime that you upgrade, your render settings are always automatically transferred. So this video might be irrelevant for you, but you can also keep watching because we're going to go over some settings that you might not have tweaked because you might have your own preset. Internally, there are a few settings as well that you might want to check on. So for all the people that are new to Vegas Pro and they just picked up this version, they have no idea what they're going to come across while exporting the video. This is obviously a really, really helpful video for that. So let's get started with the video itself right here in our timeline. Now, it's very important that your render settings are matching the settings of your video itself, the video file. It doesn't matter in what format the video is recorded. So you can have MP4 or MOV. The actual details like the frame rate, the resolution, they play a huge role to see what kind of footage you have. Right here, you can tell that the video is 1920 by 1080 and it's 30 frames. This is going to be the resolution that we're gonna render out our video. A lot of people think that, that if they upscale the video, that that will increase the quality. Then we're gonna head to the top left where it says file. We're gonna hit render as. So then we get this little box right here. So on the left, we see all the formats. We have MP4, we have FLAC, FLAC, which is lossless audio only. Which one do you need? Well, as long as you pick MP4, you should be good to go. But there's also like WMV, Windows Media Video, if you need that. But we're going to stick with the Magix AVC forward slash AAC. So then right here, we also have presets made for you. We have Ultra HD 2160p, 60 frames per second. But we're going to scroll down where we see Internet HD 1080p, 30 frames right here. And you will also see a little equal sign right here, meaning that it matches your project settings. So we're going to highlight that and we're not going to hit render just yet. We're going to hit customize template and then we see this box pop up with a lot of information. But we're going to go down to the project tab right here and we're going to make sure that we have video rendering quality set to best like that. So in the audio tab, you want to make sure that you will have the bit rates from 192 to 320. You could crank it up to 512 if you like that. But I think 320 is like the standard for MP3 and video files. And then the sample rate, you want to keep that at 48 hertz. I wouldn't really recommend changing it. I don't really know what it would do, but if it works for you, it works. So let's click on the video tab right here. So the frame size is obviously 1080p, 1920 by 1080. Frame rate is obviously the, the FPS amount. So you can set this to 50, 60, depending on what you want to render out. So we're just going to keep this on 30. But if you have a video from your phone that's shot in 1080p, but it's 60 frames, you want to just put this one to 59,940. And then you want to make sure to leave all those settings how they are. They all look good. And then on the top, you can just type in, for example, YouTube 60 FPS. Then you can hit this disk icon and that's going to save your template. So, of course, you can do that with all the other ones. As you can tell, I gave a little star on all my presets. Those are pretty much the presets that I need if I want to make an animated video for whatever it is. If it's a Discord banner for your profile, if you want to render out a square video for on Instagram, you can tell if I click on it right here, we have the resolution, which is 3000 by 3000. We have the YouTube preset 60 frames. 
we have YouTube Shorts, which is pretty much the resolution reversed. So instead of having 1920 by 1080, as you can see right here, if you just flip this video vertically, we will have 1080 by 1920. And that's what you can read right here. And then obviously right here you have 4K, 30 frames per second. I just all made them custom and saved it and gave them a star. But you can start from scratch by just going, for example, to the internet 4K. But you can just pretty much pick any kind of random preset that you like. And then you can just tweak the presets. For example, the 1080p 60 frames. If you hit on customize template, right here, as you can tell the resolution and those boxes, they're, they're grayed out. You cannot change it. But if you click right here and you set it to custom frame size, right here you can choose the width. So if you pick 4K, you just want to type in the resolution of a 4K video, which is, I believe, 3840 or 3820 by 2160, I believe. So you can just completely customize it like that. You can just also change the frame rate to 4K 30 frames per second if you want that. You can just type in 30, 50, or 60, depending on how you shot your video. Don't forget to go to the project tab on the bottom and then you can click on video rendering quality. Set that to best. So guys, those are the best render settings for YouTube. It's actually kind of a gray area what kind of settings you need because it all depends on how you shot your video. Is it shot on a phone in 720p? 30 frames is it shot on a dslr in 1080p or 4k 30 frames it's all subjective obviously but this is pretty much in a nutshell how you can tweak your own render settings to your footage and once you're done you can just choose the location right here the folder the name of the file you can also see the estimated file size so this video is a couple minutes long it's going to be around 774 megabytes and then you can just hit render so guys those are the best render settings for youtube no matter what kind of video that you have congrats to the winner of the giveaway i'll contact you through the comment section or on social media but i have to draw a new winner though after about maybe five days if i have no response i still want to give it away to somebody and make somebody happy with the vegas pro 21 copy so that's it guys thanks a lot for watching thanks for commenting and subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one